So these past couple of weeks, I've been doing some really hard research on how to make cool games. I stumbled across this small YouTuber, you might know him. His name's Danny. I was scrolling through his channel and seeing that he hasn't uploaded in three months. So I decided I'll go back and watch some of his older videos so I can get some good quality game dev content. And I stumbled across this video. In this video, I found this paper someone made called In Pursuit of Level Design. And I was like, hey, I want to make a level. So that's what I did. I have gone through all 127 pages of this book. So let's start out with the drawing. So this is the level I drew out. As you can see, it probably makes absolutely no sense. And the drawing is terrible. So that really just goes along with the last two videos to where I told you guys that I draw like a five-year-old. But a quick rundown of it is this little square area, this is two rooms. So this is the starting room, and then on top of it, there's another little area you can go to. And these are the stairs that you can go to, or these are the stairs that can get you up to the second floor. You can run around this big circle area. That's where you'll train the zombies. We have a choke point right here of a bridge to try and get to the second weapon to where the player can easily be trapped if they're not careful. But, apparently making levels inside of game engines is really easy. Check this out. This is how levels start out in Unreal. All you have to do is place your drawing up against the screen. And then once you back it up, it's just magically there. I wish everything was this easy. I want to quickly fly you around the map and show you what I have. So, this is just a very basic two to three, I guess, depending how you consider it, section map. So you start inside of here and zombies spawn out of these black areas. And then after that, you shoot out of this red block and then you can go in this big old circle area and just run around and train the zombies there. After that, or once you've done that, if you wanna move on, you can destroy this big red cube, which takes 100 bullets to destroy. And then you can get a secondary weapon but those are my only sections right now. And then you'll see these blue areas. These are for further expansion areas that I was thinking. So what I learned from reading the level design document is that there's a couple key factors that you want inside of your level. The first thing you want is guidelines. So as you can see right here, arrows it means go right there. And again, we have other ones, arrows. So it's telling you you wanna go down here. And there you go. The next thing I learned that's super duper important to have is to make sure to tease the player. Inside of your level, you wanna show players of things they can get, but might be out of reach, but that they'll, threat, that they'll be able to get later on throughout the level. So I think I did that perfectly in this level. So as you can see these red areas, or these red blocks right now, you can shoot. But these blue ones, you can't. The red ones you can shoot and destroy. So this area right here, perfect way. That was impressive. Perfect way to tease players. There are three potential weapons you can get to, but can you get to them? Absolutely not. So that is down and done. The player is now teased. The last thing you want to do inside of levels is you want to have some times of combat and sometimes not combat. So I did a terrible job explaining the combat versus no combat you want in your level. And I'm actually pretty proud of it of how I got it done in my level. So imagine this is Call of Duty Zombies and these peaks on this graph are the rounds. So if you've ever played that game before, you know after every round, there's probably like 20 to 30 seconds of downtime where you can do whatever you want. You can rebuild barriers, you can Go pack a punch a weapon, you can go buy ammo, whatever. That's considered the downtime of combat. So during the rounds, it's peak, you have lots of combat. Then in between rounds, it slows down. Go to the next round, lots of combat, and goes down. And it keeps scaling up more and more the farther you go along. Now in a zombie game, especially this one where it isn't wave-based, that's kind of hard. You're kind of always in combat 24-7. So the easy way to fix this is this little down area. You wait for all the zombies to come to you. 
Can you just slide on right down? <laughs> all these morons don't like slides for some reason. So they decide they want to go all the way around and come at you from this area, which gives you like a solid 30 seconds of downtime. You might have to shoot a couple zombies here or there, but that's like barely anything. But I, I did have that in mind. You can't completely cheat the system. You can't just jump back up. Once you're down here, you're stuck. You have you can wander all the way back around and just keep doing it. But these are some of the core principles of level design. And I think I have mastered all of them perfectly. Right? If you want to become a professional level designer, I'm pretty sure this is how you do it. I'm not there yet, but I'm making strides for it. So in that last clip, you saw that I was able to destroy these two red blocks in one bullet. Well, it's not going to be like that in the game. This first one actually takes 40 bullets to destroy it. So let's get that real quick. So there we go. That one's destroyed as a zombie barges in. And this next one to get to your second weapon, it's actually 100 bullets to destroy. So good luck getting that one. Also, check out my new itch page. I made it a lot better. This is what the old one looks like. And this is what the new one looks like. I think it's a pretty good improvement. So if you liked the video, go ahead and drop a thumbs up and a comment if you enjoyed it. And uh, subscribe. Thanks. Also, check out the next video when it comes out. Throughout reading the uh, level design document, I learned a lot of cool things that don't necessarily pertain to like making a level, but that go into level design. So I'm gonna implement some of those into the next video whenever they come out. So get ready for it.